Do you dislike that those are kind of slightly not the same color? Would you rather us field girls be in the matte ones that are all the same color? That wasn't bad at all. How did that feel? Have you, have you based side wasn't before? Bad at all. I know you've named. Before. You've based yeah. side? But you've done it? OK. All right, let's play with these two for a minute. OK. OK, go like you. S F A G for the win. Yes, let the folks know we are D. Yes, better than the rest. No cut. Yes, A. Horns up, yeah, one. Check your windows. Let's go, Bulls. Let's go, Bulls. Move around. Let's go, Bulls. Move around sharp. Let's go, Bulls. Let's go, Bulls. Last time. Let's go, Bulls. Hold and hit the crowd. And then someone call We Are South Florida. Right away. You should spear it the whole time. I love having the USF girls in the facility. They're here, they're here quite a bit of the summer. I started having them in, uh, obviously, when the pandemic and we opened up, but they've been an integral part of what's going on. Warm up your clinic stunts. If you need to do anything again for the actual performance, you can do it again with your group while you're warming up the clinic stunts, OK? Um, and then in about 10, 15 minutes, I'm going to pull us to where we're doing nothing, and we're standing for a few seconds while they get set and then we get ready to go, okay? So get water first and then report to your clinic spots. Good job, y'all. It's nice to offer those teams a little something different, a couple of different looks. So cheerleading has is, is always been so much more than just the sideline or just the competition. It's, it's kind of a lifestyle sport, and these guys are exemplifying it here. Every opportunity that you get the chance to perform in front of somebody is a good thing, whether it is a, an appearance, a game, a performance, but just like junior bulls, anytime you get the opportunity to perform in front of little kids, it's even bigger because it's not just about us performing. Like you're literally creating little girls who want to be the next generation of USF cheerleaders. So please keep that in mind. This group that is here had a game today and the game is canceled. And so now their game is next week. So this is what they're doing instead. So for them, this is a big deal. We need to make sure that we treat it like that as well as it is a great opportunity for us to add to our crowd tape with a community event. So as soon as they get seated there in their uniforms, we can go interact with them. We can give them high fives. I have a couple people that are gonna teach them USF. Maybe we can start the wave with them. So change our faces, change our demeanor. You're officially like on right now, okay? All right, thank you. So to have those little girls, even those high school girls, have someone to look up to and offer a kind word is, that's, that's invaluable. That's, that's, a, that's very formative for young people uh, in sport, just to have that kind of encouragement, but then to see what's possible. You know, they're doing some of these amazing tricks and you'll see the little kids sitting in here just wide-eyed watching them. And at that moment, they realize they wanted to be a cheerleader. Go Margaret, go Margaret, go Margaret, go Margaret, go Margaret. You know, they want to be on the bulls bound sideline or those are the girls that have been uh, in here watching while my high school teams are practicing and the college teams practicing good. You know what, maybe coach, I'd like to be a part of a college cheerleading program team or college program, you know? Those, it, it's nice to offer those teams a little something different, a couple of different looks.
me start with the positives. On the interaction with the kids, top notch, okay? Honestly, on the energy and making that a good experience for them, fabulous, okay? Um, on the rewind section of the routine, we weren't so hot. We had some bobbles and some mistakes. The difference is, is in, in this building with these little ones, they don't know the difference. Saturday, when they wanna be on your team, they do know the difference, okay? So we are, as, as much as there was fabulousness there in terms of the little kids and us getting the chance to be in front of people in the community, great. In terms of our expectation of us, on what the University of South Florida All Girls should look like um, with skills that are easy for us, skills that we do at games, that section of the routine was for sure not where it needs to be. So we are gonna work the stunts for the remainder of our practice and make sure that we are where we need to be. But um, in terms of where, in terms of getting in front of a crowd, so before that routine, we were two and oh, okay? Now we're two and one, because that routine definitely got you. We need to pick it up and fix it for the next one, okay? Every single time you get in front of a crowd, it's an opportunity to learn. Until that point, it had always gone well for us. Now, how do you respond? You focus on technique and doing what you're supposed to do. It's not just going through the motions, it's doing it right, thinking about what happens when you're in front of people too, okay? We're gonna get water and then we're gonna run the rewinds first, okay? We usually don't perform a full demo this early. So usually at our clinics, we would do like an intro line and different people would perform elite skills and different people would perform um, whatever. But we picked a, a routine that we wanted to do just to kind of perform earlier than usual. And we had some mistakes at that performance. It went really well. It was a wonderful night with the kids. We had a great opportunity to interact with them, which is so important, kind of like with Junior Bulls for the community. Um, so from that side of it, it was just a wonderful, wonderful night. But we had um, in our rewind section of the routine, we had multiple um, bobbles or even um, drops. So we stayed in practice that night and I was kind of surprised by some of the groups that fell. Um, and I was thinking maybe it was just an off night or something. Part, parts of it were better, honestly, but parts of the baskets were actually very good that time. I, the rewind, what is going on? Like, are we just not focused? Is that when y'all got to your heels, which wasn't a problem before. The low to high full around was the group in the back. Are we just not on the same page? Okay, I'm gonna give y'all 10 minutes to do what you need to do, okay? We'll take the breathers off, do not play around. Let's take 10 minutes to do what we need to do to get on the right page, okay? Okay, 10 minutes, go. Okay. Some some good things tonight, and honestly, maybe some good things to happen. Some of y'all realizing you have to dig yourself out of holes sometimes. Um, we will be getting done with practice here in a second. Um, it, I don't know what you said to each other, but it shouldn't take that, though, for you guys to come in. And on Saturday, it's going to be early in the morning, and I need you to come in focused, okay? and ready to go. Because I'll tell you this much, the other day in the corral, yeah, we had issues. I'm never upset with an issue. That's cheerleading. I'm upset with issues that are scary in front of people. They shouldn't be scary in front of people. Does that make sense? On game day skills. There's nothing in this routine that's hard for you, okay? So more focus off the top to come in and do it right, okay? Because on Saturday, we won't get the opportunity to do it again. Like, if it's not good, it's going to go, all right, here's our clinic, and you're going to have to stew about it for five hours and put a happy face on and have a good clinic and then deal with it at 4 o'clock when we're tired. And nobody wants to do that, right? Of 
yourself. Everybody let it blow. Every gotta get it, yo. Everybody, if you really with me, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Keys to the ignition and step on the gas. Let's go. Where we at? 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 Where we
So today was our fall stunt clinic and at the beginning of every clinic we do a demo and this clinic we did a routine and it was just, it was rough. Um, well in my opinion I just feel like we were all very confident before going on which is good because we hit a bunch of times at practice before. There was no focus on the mat, like there was no energy behind it and no like passion as Sandy kept saying. And it was just, it was rough. There was like, it's a routine that we should have hit in our sleep. Most people that know me will tell you that like, I don't just like difficult cheerleading. I like it to look good. I like, you know, pretty cheerleading that is clean and sharp and like throw skills that you make look easy for you. And there, the skills that we just had in this routine are easy for them. And a couple of them made them look hard. In the corner before we were going on, I just feel like we weren't in the right headspace. It just seemed like there was too much talking and kind of goofing around a little bit too much. So we were confident, but I think we let it get to our heads and we weren't focused enough before going on. People let jitters get the best of them, and I know that we were all somewhat new stunt groups too, so we need to ground our stunt groups, make it something that we can hit. Layton always says we need to hit something. It's not about what you're doing, it's how you look while you're doing it. So should have thought about that more that day and just not let the nerves get the best of us. I think we were just like overall like really hyped for the performance and then it, when it came down to the performance, the nerves started kicking in and everyone was like trying to be perfect. I think that the issue was that people just really weren't in the right headspace to go out there and hit the routine and it was kind of like crazy before we were going on and we all just went out and the energy was kind of dead so it didn't end very well for us but I really going into this performances thought I had our traditional mat kind of picked out. I thought that we knew the equation and I think we were spot on for four of the groups. One, got it. Oh, you got it. Uh, you got it, Kat. Good. Yes. Good. Okay. <laughs> Whenever you guys feel comfortable popping it through, by all means, pop it through. But listen, when you guys pop it through, make sure you're not stomping down. Like this is, so are you guys going to do a two count zip and pop it through? Or one, two? One, two. Okay, let's do one, two. Make sure this isn't like, you don't want to think about lifting up too much. It's just like kind of placing and standing up and lifting. So at the clinic, they kind of separate into groups by not necessarily skill level, but by what you want to be working on. So um, we separate them into groups of skills, um, the first being fundamentals. So they work on um, just the fundamentals of stunting, the basics. Then the next group after that or on the other side of the mat would be some spinning skills. So things like full ups or full up immediates. Um, they can do low to high full arounds or high to high full arounds. So basically anything where the top girl is spinning. Um, the group on the other side of the mat would then be uh, release moves. So we've got things like switch ups or low to high TikToks, high to high TikToks, stuff like that. So anything where the bases release their grip and then grab the grip again. 
So the other side of the floor, you'll have inversions, um, which is things like Hannah hands. Um, they can work uh, extended Hannah hands if they wanted to, but basically when the top girl is inverted and then popping it through to, to feet, whatever level that's at. Um, and then the last group on the other side is gonna be collegiate skills. So that's gonna be things like your backhand spring ups, uh, round off ups. Uh, they can work rewinds over there. Um, they can go to any version of those skills that they want. They can even work foo-foos if they wanted to, rewind pull throughs. So really any collegiate level stunting is gonna be done on that side of the floor. This is the one. <laughs> <laughs> You got it. Explode. Go for the heel. Not bad. Uh, a lot of common things we see in high schoolers, usually at clinics, typically for flyers, I'm always having to correct, like pulling our feet together, squeezing our feet, locking our knees. Uh, high Vs, like a lot of people are taught to do things very differently. So people will load differently. People will spin differently. I saw someone spin left. I've never seen that in a full up. <laughs> Uh, so at clinics, I get to correct a lot of things and a lot of girls learn a lot in our just a short clinic or even a full day clinic and we have clinics throughout the whole year and it benefits them like crazy. I never got to go to a clinic, so any college clinic, so coming to ours and teaching at it was really cool because seeing them learn go from zero to a hundred in one day is crazy and anyone can learn for skills just by getting a little critique. It's okay. If your hands are getting stuck right here, make sure you're throwing and following your throw. Like go all the way through, reach towards your main base where she's spinning from, big open hands, and her, her foot is either gonna crash into your hands or you're gonna catch it in your hands. Either one. You got it. Finish the spin. Heels. Yes! That was, that was good. We just need those heels. You good? <laughs> That's the, that's the spin we like, and then you just need to drive those heels. Yeah, try your best to, not even toes, balls of your feet, just to give them like a second longer with those heels. You got it. How's it going? What year in school are you? I'm a junior. Very nice. Have you learned new things here today? Yeah, so I learned the front flip up, because I've done like round off ups with this one, but not like. You did front hand spring ups? Yeah, yes. Hand spring ups, and then I learned a different way to do the handstand up. It wasn't really working that well for me because I'm used to having it on the front hands like that, not the back ones. So I yeah. learned a different way to do them. There's a lot of people do them a lot of different ways. Yeah. Depends on what they're doing before or after yeah. them, honestly. So, okay, sweet. I was just calling, coming to say hi. Squeeze your ankles together. Good. Bump down, one, two. Good. And then I, just make sure on the bump down to bend your yeah, knees. Yeah, yeah. You're like yeah. coming back down to us like this. Can, like we, can we hop in a load really quick so we can show her? Good. See right here, I want you to focus on lifting your own knees up and bring those feet together. Good. Just like that. Perfect. Good. So when you jump in every time. And now it's also going to make you be able to stand up faster and get in that line quicker right. so it's easier to stand. All right, let's do one more. Good, that was much better. Bump down, one, two. Good, good squish. Layton and Sandy always say, like, basics are the most important. Otherwise, you can't build a good foundation. So I feel like I just saw the little things in the flyers, not keeping our ankles together and not driving through our legs and using our arms and legs at the same time through the bases. So I feel that I was able to help correct some of those things and Overall, I saw a vast improvement throughout all the athletes that I worked with at the clinic from the beginning to the end. That was a lot better. Did that feel easier on the stand-up too? Okay, good. Okay. I'll just say this. I'm kind of glad that I had five hours to think about it because the f first 10 minutes after you guys performed, had I spoken then, I would, this, I would be yelling at you right now. Um, what happened this morning was absolutely unacceptable. Like, and I don't know if it's our focus. I don't know if, if we didn't take these two performances seriously. Um, to be honest with you, when it happened in front of the little kids at RAD, it was unacceptable too. Um, 
on every level, but there I was like, okay, maybe we needed to get these jitters out. Maybe we needed to be able to focus with the loud, you know, surroundings. Um, but here I now realize that's absolutely not the case. That's absolutely not the reason it happened. You warmed up just fine. Um, the only thing that had issues when we warmed up, I dealt with without any of you guys knowing about it. And then we went out there, you guys, we dropped four stunts, four stunts. And I'm sure you could tell right off the top, we lost the crowd because you, you dropped the opening stunt, which is in March V, which is a game day stunt. Like you shouldn't be able to cheer a football game if you cannot do that skill. So then, I mean, they didn't cheer for you guys until you did an A-frame. Like, does everybody, like, I think I was the only person in the building cheering at one point, and honestly, it was because I was trying not to flip out at that point. Um, the rewinds, again, the two mistakes on those groups were similar groups to had, that had the mistakes at RAD, and honestly, unacceptable mistakes as well. We've talked over and over and over again about using technique and getting good grips. Um, on one of the groups, I mean, you guys weren't even on the feet at all. Yes, we were on heels, but people, I mean, I spent the whole lunch break going through and breaking it down. People didn't even go for the proper grips. Um, on other groups, we ended up out of line and back, and I know it didn't come down, but at nationals, that's a, that was a drop at nationals. That was over a point in deductions. That was not a hit. And then we lost to Philip Immediate in the back on the Philip Immediate stretch. So we dropped a stunt in every single section of stunting. I can guarantee you that there was one person in that, in that spot that after that demo said, mm, I don't know that I wanna come here now. So right now we are going to zone spot and every single one of these groups are going to do 10 stunts and we are not leaving this building until we do 10 stunts safely without injury. If you need to take a rest, if you need to get water, we need to do whatever we need to do we are going to do those 10 stunts. Mentally, um, whether or not some of them are there or not is to be determined. So I think that's the biggest key. Sometimes, you know, I can be super positive and sometimes I can be pretty tough on them. So I wasn't very happy and they for sure know it. So we'll see practice tomorrow, probably be pretty tough on them. And um, hopefully they'll rise to the standard of which is acceptable because um, it's always a tough lesson to learn when they hear those words, you know, that was pretty unacceptable. Um, so hopefully we grow, we learn. Mistakes are okay as long as we learn from them and we don't let them happen again. And as a coaching staff, we have to learn from them too and learn like, who can handle it. I can promise you if you moved that one, that sounds stronger. If you put that one in, that sounds stronger. If you put that one in, that's stronger. She won't catch grip, but stronger. This one has been tumbling, but is the stunts strong enough? Are the stunts strong enough? We have this right now. And this was hitting back in pull ups, and this was hitting back in pull ups with her. Like, this group is what Layton's wondering are they that good? Four of the five of them, I feel comfortable and confident that they are the right pick. Three of the groups were kind of on my radar for that last spot. And um, I feel like I learned a lot about two of those groups this weekend. Um, I'm gonna move a couple people. I'd like this group to go together. These two top girls with, um, and put Gabby behind it. I'd like this to go together with two back spots. Um, this will stay with this back spot. Taylor, you're going back to Kiki and um, Sasha, but with Louie, you're moving behind it now. And th this whole group is going together based off of whoever is healthy in that group today. Got it? Go warm up stunts.
This is uh, competition minded at the beginning. Please start with your game day stunts. You should be able to do those in every group. And then I will tell you when we are progressing to Bufus, rewind pull throughs, aerial ups, et cetera. If you need to go back and look at it, go look at it. We started using pictures to pick stunt groups for as long as I can remember when we have tryouts. So this year, I thought it might be a good idea to use those same pictures and that same theory and idea to put together our nationals mat and our stunt groups. Guys, I don't see people paired up with zones and we just change your stunt group. And when someone falls unsafely, I'm going to come unglued. I told you to find a group to pair up with. Thank you. So whenever you made the team, they had our pictures on this poster board of stunt groups that you're in. And those were the stunt groups that we worked with right after tryouts. Which happens to be the same stunt group that I have now. My stunt group switch around a lot, but I actually have the stunt group that I started with the very first practice. And let me tell you, this is the best way I can put it. I feel like personally, my stunt group struggles a lot with like confidence because they don't feel like we're the best. And I know we're not the best, but I feel like that also like pushes us to be better. For example, like today, we've been really struggling with front handspring ups and we finally like got the timing oh, for I them today that. and that we hit so a good, good. one. Like, yes. We hit a couple good ones. So yeah, I'm do. really proud of like my group and I feel like we've come really far and I'm just trying to continue to better myself and better my group and that way like we can just be better as a whole. Okay, everybody pause because I'm about to try totally different things. Right now, Abby, uh, Maddie and Alyssa stay with Kate, but Emily go there with um, the Dallas and Kylie, uh, or Dallas and Riley behind that. Kayla go with Juliet, Sammy, and Gabby. Kayla D go with Abby, Kylie, and Haley. Let me see that, rewarm up. Now they're gonna start hitting them too because people are realizing. Everybody pause a second, okay, pause. I'm gonna make another change, okay? Um, Kayla, go with Kate and Emily with Dallas. Maddie, go over on that other group. Alyssa, let's have you go on Florida, Julia with Riley and come up in the front row so we can see it better, please. Um, and then I want Jessica to stay with Caitlin Blaylock, but I want Ashley and Melanie to move to her, okay? And then that makes Maddie stay with um, Belle, Sammy, and Callie as a solid group, okay? Make those changes, go. We moved a ton of people around trying to find the right mix this year. It was probably the hardest puzzle we've ever put together in the seven years I've coached. Sometimes, some years, your, your national stunt groups come naturally and you can see the break and you can see where things fit. And this year, it was just, there's a lot of talent on this team and it was really difficult to fit that puzzle into the perfect mix. Like that group is actually pretty damn good together, those bases are, because two top girls both looked good on them. We also have to think about pyramids and baskets and tumbling and all of those different parts that go into a routine. It's just not just stunting or just tumbling. It's all of those things that make the two minutes and 30 seconds on the mat come together the way we want it to. All of these bufus, because honestly, there's a lot of groups that we've switched that are doing good things at times. The key thing is their chest has to be up. The front hand has to be fast. We got to get them out of our hands quick and their chest has to be up. I want you to go to Alyssa. Julia, I want Kylie to work in and out with you. Because that puts, that puts significant tumbling back in that. And Leighton is not, Leighton is not, he, Leighton is interested in Alyssa. I can't even count on my fingers how many times I've switched groups in and out, different people. Keep, keep those feet together, that was good. Mondays are open gyms, Tuesdays are workouts, and then we have practice at night, and then Wednesdays are open gyms with workouts, 
Thursdays are practices. Fridays are off days, but there's also an open gym. Um, Saturday is either games or an off day. And then Sunday is either a game or we ha and we have practice. And balancing that with the social life and schoolwork and everything outside of that is really hard. It is a huge commitment, but I've been doing cheer since I was four years old, so I can't see myself without it. We're almost throwing her chest back. Like we're overthrowing her chest. Those front hands need to be up so she ends up in line. The height is there and the spin is there, but it is behind you, which was also happening with Maddie. So that could be the direction in which your chest is going. If I could pick you a side base, any side base in this room, who would it be? I like Sammy. You, you know? like Sammy? Okay. And out of the three that we gave you, who would you choose? If you had to make it work between one of them. I don't know, it's like the best of four in so far. Okay. But I like Sammy too. Between them two. Okay. Yeah. But it's good to know that if it's if you were more willing to work with Lauren and you were with one of the other two that we gave you, yeah. it would be easier. Yeah. So my obvious choice was Sammy, just because when you base with someone, I think timing is one of the most important things. And the more you base with somebody, the more used to them you get. So this will be Sammy and I's third year together. Um, so you could say that we're just very used to each other and the way that we stunt. Um, in the way that we communicate. And yeah, I just think that after basing with her for two years in a row, I have so much trust in her. Um, I feel like we're always there when the other person's not. I just feel like we're always on the same page. And I think that's why we base so well together. She's too tall for that. She would have to go she back to here. Yeah. I've side based with a lot of people on the team. The person I base with the most is Abby, but I've also based with Juliet for a hot minute, Kenzie, I've based Flyerwise Toast, which is Kayla. I've based the other Kayla. I've based Little Haley. I've based Regan. I don't think there's many people I haven't stunted with, quite honestly. We're gonna we're gonna do elite skills again. I'm gonna switch the groups again, okay? And I know like some of y'all are probably frustrated, but it's the only way that we can see things. And sometimes we're not even looking at what y'all are looking at. Sometimes we're trying to see if someone still throws, if the top girl does the same thing on another group as she did on another group. It's a giant puzzle trying to make a nationals mat, uh, a really, really big puzzle that takes a long time to do. Stand up, Dallas, stand up. You're squatting and Juliet's you taller. Don't you don't squat, need to yeah. squat. She's actually got just as long arms. I can side base on the side. I love side basing. I'm not as strong as it in a back spot, but I love side basing. It's just so fun that different, it's different muscles, different vision, different grips. It's just new and fun. And I love just throwing those skills and hitting them makes me feel, boosts my ego basically, but it's super fun. Um, but I also, can toe pitch pyramids here and there as a instep or a back spot or a side base. So this practice was really crazy because the whole time we switched stunt groups and literally everybody stunted with everyone. And like, especially me, like I stunted with a lot of people, but the stunt group that stuck is me with Reich and Kenzie and Haven. But, and a couple other stunt groups stuck too, but other than that, everybody kept changing because they were trying to find the perfect fit for each stunt group. Last thing is, as of now, open gyms are open. I haven't seen anything from Rad that says that there's nothing there, so, or closed, so that should still be fine. I will update every update that I get. I have a football meeting tomorrow. Um, I'll either, I'm usually in it. I might be on it virtually now if she's home, but we'll see. I will update how it goes. Um, and keep you posted as what's going on as well, if any events change. Um, hopefully nothing, but the best thing that y'all can do is be really prepared, and then if we have extra time, get ahead on your studies, if you're just sitting at home, and then obviously in college, I'm sure you'll have fun during hurricane, because it's pretty fun. Yes. <laughs> if there is. <laughs>